right, folks. So we got Android 16 Beta 3 installing on the Google Pixel 7. And this is what I noticed off jump when it comes to this device. Now, when it comes to Android beta software, first off, let me just make this clear. It is beta. So if there are certain apps that you were using on Android 15, and let's say that, you know, it's being buggy right now. Uh, to go out and dismiss Android 16, that's a bit odd to do just because, again, this is beta. The software is beta, which means that certain things may or may not work. But with the full-fledged release, all those should be ironed out with all the beta testing that we, the consumers, have been doing. So, just want to make that note. Now, as far as the aesthetics design of the Pixel Launcher, everything pretty much is the same. Um, we're not seeing any major uh, user interface overhauls with Android 16. So it's still going to, you know, have the little pill, you know, shapes for the quick settings and all that. But you know what? I mean, I don't know. I guess that maybe it's like every four years or so that, you know, Google will refresh the user interface. I mean, it's possible. Well, we'll see. Um, we do have this, though, color contrast. I kind of like this. Uh, it's not a very major big deal. It doesn't bring like a like a super wow, um, you know, user experience, but it's nice to have, you know, if you want to just kind of really kind of get down there with uh, how the user interface looks and whatnot. Um, you'll notice that, you know, there are certain things uh, like, you know, modes and stuff like that. And certain settings are in different categories. Now, it's really like, it almost seems like they're trying to like categorize everything uh, within the settings app, um, you know, so like accounts and stuff like that may be in a different spot. Let's just say that when it comes to um, customizing the uh, pixel launcher with the material U UI, you still get the basic stuff, you know, the uh, color theming and uh, matching the wallpaper and such. So that's still happening. Um, there's nothing really new added. I kind of really wish that they would add something that nothing OS has, which is the ability to lock your screen. And what I mean by that is to lock your, uh, the way you have your display customized, right? So, once you have widgets and stuff like that on your home screens, then you could just like lock it down. And uh, if you accidentally tap on an app and hold it down, it doesn't shift it and move it off your screen or delete it off your screen. Um, it just, you know, because the, the user interface is locked. I really wish they would bring that. Um, with camera, cameras are still pretty much the same. There's not really any new features added in that I'm noticing that's making any type of big difference or big impact. You know, it's mostly stuff that's in code and small features that you don't really see visually that uh, Android 16 is bringing to the table, which, you know, I'll eventually do a, a full video on Android 16 and what we can expect from it. But this is just a quick look at Android 16 Beta 3 on the